everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and today I'm going to show you how you can create a fully working Blazor application connected to your database using Razen Blazor Studio. I have the Blazor Studio started and now we can press new application button to choose which application type we are going to use, Blazor Server or WebAssembly. For this video, I'm going to use Blazor Server application. Press Next. Now you can configure the application where the app should be created, what is going to be the application name, whether partial classes should be used or not. You can select the application framework, by default is .NET 7, which is the latest official for Microsoft. And you can select the application team by default is material, but we have several more teams ready to be used. Now press finish. And Blazor Studio will create for you an application with a single page using the default template available from Microsoft. Uh, there are other classes like the report controller and upload controller that are helper classes. Uh, later we can talk about them more. Now let's uh, scaffold some pages from your database. I'm going to use uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Press next. Select your server. In my case, I'm going to use Windows Authentication and I'm going to use our sample database. For now, with the default options, press Next. And as you can see, Razen Blazor Studio will list all available database objects, including tables, views and store procedures during scaffold. I'm going to use the default um, uh, settings for now, which is Entity Framework Query, query Tracking Enabled with Cascade Delete, but no optimistic concurrency uh, turned on for the moment. Press Next. Now you have an option to generate some pages for update, delete, and add new records. There are various templates, the default one, which is using uh, dialogues or separate pages for add and edit records. You can um, choose data grid with inline editing. You can choose data grid with form, master detail with two data grids, master detail hierarchy, but for this video, I'm going to use the first template and press Next. Now, Razen Blazor Studio will let you choose which entities are going to be used for tables and which columns are going to be used from each entity. I'm going to leave this for now like this and I'm going to enable more features like exporting to Excel, searches you type, and paging and sorting of um, lookup data. You can choose also the date format and the form film field used uh, for add and edit pages. I'm going to use this one. And press finish. Now then Blazor Studio will create, uh, for each selected table, create three pages for displaying, adding and editing records. We are going to wait a little bit more. Now it's ready and we are going to check the orders page. As you can see, there, there is a data grid component. Everything is connected. Uh, there is a search text box, a button for, for exporting, a button for adding new records. You can check the code actually. This is the razor and there is a C sharp file with everything needed for updating, deleting 
adding searching records we have a split view as well let's run now the application to check the result we are going to wait a bit more application to be built as you can see the application is ready now and it's fully working you can display you can edit let's change something you can delete records you can export them to Microsoft Excel or CSV you can search records let's close the Excel uh, here you can check the lookup that are searchable as well you can sort them as well page them And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.